What's going on, guys? T Dash SS Gaming here with our next Let's Play episode. This is episode number three. So we're here in the office. It is raining outside. It is late spring. Um, as you guys know, we lost a little bit of money, but it's all right. I'm not too worried. We'll make that back pretty quickly. Um, so what ended up happening, in case you guys aren't aware, is we had a big storm come in and wipe out one of our big sheds. So we had to rebuild. So the reason we have little money is we rebuilt our shed systems at our farm, which you'll see in a second. So we're going to come out here and see, as you guys see, all the equipment that was in here, our spreaders, our work truck, it's all down at the farm now. Let's hop in the gator since this here is a closed cab instead of using our side by side. Let's head over to our main farm here so you guys can check out and see how everything's looking. So we're gonna plant soybeans today. We're gonna stop planting. If we check here, we could have started yesterday, and I probably should have, but we're gonna do it today. We have another two and a half days to go in case we run behind. So we're gonna plant soybeans instead of corn. I know we were gonna make that jumble bean into silage, but I'm thinking we should do soybeans, get some good money in. Once we get some good money in, um, then we'll turn around and start making some silage. So in the meantime, I return our leased um, wheel loader. So let's come into shed one here. Let's jump out. So this is shed one here, guys. We moved our Peterbilt semi in here. We have our 4440 John Deere with single wheels. Um, this is what we use for our fertilizers and such like that, where we don't want to draw dry over the crops too much. We have a regular work truck, which does fit all the way underneath, um, believe it or not. But actually. I just realized it's not lifted right now. There we go. Let's raise it up. There we go. Does it still fit? It still fits. Kind of glitches though. A little bit. So I just usually stop it right here. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So we got a work truck here. We can even put a little skid steer forklift over here we can always move these out if we need to work on a piece of equipment that's a little bit taller like a harvester we can have them back up over here and work on them with the tools up here which is nice we can also store we can also store some diesel and uh, some DAF fluids either underneath or up top there I'm really liking the shed on this side we have the salt melt it and we have our plow and on this side of course we have our lime spreader and we still got plenty of room where we can store some more things in there if needed. So we built this one. And we built a second shed here too. So we have this shed. So in here we're keeping our 4840s with the duels in the rear. So we have all these guys in here, all four of them. We have another little workbench in here. But we can always slide them in there. And this shed over here to work or we can go into the workshop here and bring them here to fix up where we got some more tools so either way we'll be able to fix them up no problem we're also we're leasing this harvester now which I'm going to return or do we own it? Oh, we own it. Nope. It's leasing it. We're leasing quite a bit of stuff that I want to buy eventually so we don't have to keep leasing it. But our harvesters will park in there. In the meantime, we do own these headers. Um, since we do own them, we're just going to keep them. 
so then we don't have to lease them every time we need a header um so we got those they like said we can fit two harvesters in here which will be great and this is perfect size for our farm and they match each other they look really good here at the farm so these are our new sheds so let's jump in here other than that all our fields are looking pretty good starting to grow oh like I said we gotta go plant so know what we're gonna do is while we're here let's park over here so we're not getting rained on jump out let's grab one of these guys this one's got 10 working hours how much does this one have 0.2 oh, let's break her in Ooh, a little bit of lightning there all right so let's come over here we're gonna do soybeans I believe it is this cedar here don't quote me not positive six working meters and at 11 miles an hour Let's see, cedars were, am I going right here? I want to see how much the John Deere one is. Six meters, 11 miles an hour. Hmm. We may end up, and how much cheaper are they? So I own one of these and leases, so that's, if I sold it, We would get sixty thousand. If I bought two of these for six thousand, oh, that's a no-brainer, guys. We are definitely gonna do the. It's not right now. Um, yeah, he's full. Let's change him over to soybeans. This is 0.3 hours. So we just sold. Oh. So I did my math wrong. We sold that one, which is okay. We'll use the lease one when we're done with this lease one. Um, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna get the other two, so it matches, and it's so much cheaper. Add soybeans here. Let's head out to our farm. Or I should say our field. Uh, so we got our big jumbo field up here. And let's get worker John here, and he's going to start. Perfect. There you go. That looks pretty good. I'll let him keep going. So we're planting soybeans. There we go. This field does need lime. Uh, I'll throw a lime on it after it's planted. I know I technically should do it before it's planted, but we're going to do it afterwards. So let's run back here and head back to our farm. We don't really have too much going on today besides that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our semi and grab the log bed. 
we're going to head up and get those logs out of there. And we can also go sell those logs. So we'll be able to get money for that. We got our log bed right there. Let's grab our semi, which is over here, and we can go do that. I just realized time. There we go. This trailer also dumps, guys. So we're able to dump this if needed which is nice and it's got straps so we can strap down our logs so we're gonna head gonna head over we're gonna stop here real quick Come grab John Deere. We hooked that up so we can tow it behind and time to go through the river Ooh. here we go And we are good here. Boom. So we're going to stop the engine. Leave that there. And we're going to load all these logs up now, guys. So let's load these up. So in case you guys don't know, this is the CSZ equipment pack is the tool in the front. It's the big bag lifter, uh, 
I think it's called the Big Bag Lifter. Um, it's great for pallets, so I use it anytime I'm loading pallets. You can get it in wheel loader, skid steer, telehandler, or front loader. So anytime I'm doing pallets, I use it. Logs, especially. Um, anything that's strappable, it's fantastic for. Oop, too heavy. And this is literally my go-to, like I said, guys, for absolutely everything on the farm. This is my complete... Need to do something. Or, um, you know, I'm grabbing something, something flips over and you gotta turn it around. As long as it's strappable, this is the best. gonna knock this there we go perfect Grab these last little bits right here. I have a feeling this is going to get real... Oh, well, I can't do that. It's going to... Oh, I'm in the wrong truck. Hold on. Let me get in the tractor. There we go. Whoop. Almost flipped it. This one's too heavy, so no problem. And I don't have access to the land. So we're going to go like this. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It went up on the other side, didn't it?
What if I... I'm wondering if I can lift it with this log. Sometimes the logistics of logs, you can actually use them the way they work. Nope. I just completely knocked it off. And this is why I don't like logging, guys. Let me put that there. Let's go and grab these other loose ones. See if I can make a pile. So it's easier to grab. This one. Ah, oh. <laughs> I hate logging guys with a passion. And before you guys say in the comment, comment, oh, no, no, lower, lower, lower. Ooh, I saved it. Nice. Before you guys say in the comments, well, why don't you try using the actual logging machines and all that? I'm still not good at them. I end up getting frustrated and nothing ends up getting accomplished when, uh, when I do logging. Before anything happens to these, I'm strapping them all down. In case I bump into it, they don't all go flying again. Let's come pick up these two right here. Pick up that one on the other side. And at least all those are now out of the way and no longer there. This. And then we can take the semi and we're not even going to turn them into wood ships guys we're gonna back on up there we go we're just going to straight go ahead and sell them at market as is see how much money I can get it won't be a lot It'll probably just be a couple thousand if I'm lucky a couple thousand Maybe less, but we'll see. I know it doesn't look pretty, guys, but it works for me, so. All right. Let's bring this back to the farmhouse shop our garage we'll call that the garage then we'll call everything else the sheds let's bring it back to the garage
Well, might as well check on this guy while we're here. How's he doing? Ooh, he's doing well. Uh, don't know. Where's the the mill? Mill's down this way. So let's go and sell. See how much money we can make. Cut up the grass here. Oh, no. Oh, I saved it. The second time I almost knocked over. Here we go. Come on. Oh, we made it. There we go. All right, mill is straight ahead. This looks like the mill. Hold on, let me look here. I don't think the mill takes it. If I remember correctly, guys. <laughs> nope, we gotta go to the biomass heating plant. Oh. oh. Alright, um... Let's go this way. It's gonna go up, over, down. Alright, biomass heating plants this way. It is this one right here. Wow, forty-five thousand dollars, guys. That's actually well better than I thought. I thought we were gonna get a couple thousand dollars. All right. Well, that makes me feel a little better about it. Hundred ten thousand. I feel like we're rich now. All right. How much is our loan? That's what I'm curious. Actually, let's pay $35,000 of that back. Now we only have $1,100,000 loan. If we got $45,000 from that, so if we can keep going, get $200,000 from forestry, you know, keep going until we can get $200,000, and then hopefully with crops and everything like that, we'll be able to sell a good 
we'll get 300,000 maybe if we're lucky. Um, that'll bring that down to about half a million dollar loan going into next year, which sounds a lot better than having a million dollar loan. So let's keep going. We are going to pull into our yard. Why oh, turns? I may hit the field a little bit. Nope. There we go. Pull in. We'll be able to drop the trailer right there. Perfect. Let's come park our semi. So that is it for today, guys. I'm going to continue letting uh, worker John there continue planting, but we are all set. And uh, I will catch you guys again Wednesday. And hopefully by then, if everything goes to plan, Wednesday will be start to start harvesting. Um, so I'm going to skip up through the first, you know, four days of summer, everything, and um, next four days we'll skip through and uh, we should be at harvesting time by then, hopefully. So once we start harvesting, um, we'll start making some of our money back. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got everything closed up here. Shut our doors. Trust no critters and not everything gets thrown in there. And let's head back to our farm. We got this rumor has it though the dealer they're currently making a John Deere 6x6 I think so if they get the John Deere 6x6 and it gets released and the new dealer picks them up then we will end up picking one of those up also so we'll have a 6x6 six six John Deere will have this John Deere, but we may sell it if we get the 6x6, six six, not positive yet. Um, and we'll have multiple, which would be nice. So let's shut this door here. No point of rain coming in. Shut these doors, close this. Heading into the house and... We can shut that door. There's no need for that to be open. Let's back this up. Look, it won't get wet. Perfect. And we got great stairs, so we don't have to worry about water. It will drain right away. So, that is that, guys. We are all done for today. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you guys helping me out and getting me to 100 subscribers. On my steering wheel review, I'm up to 17,000 views, which is honestly fantastic, guys. I would never have thought that I would be at that many views for that video um, when I made it. You know, I thought it was cool when I reached 500, but 17,000 is absolutely amazing, guys. I really appreciate all the support. And then, like I said, guys, getting me to 100 subscribers is fantastic. Um, I am planning on live streaming later today. Um, so depending when you guys watch this video, I will be streaming Monday, maybe Tuesday, um, but definitely Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And doing some multiplayer also, I know a couple of you guys were lucky enough to be able to jump on and do some multiplayer with me. So, I appreciate that. 
um you know you guys being able to join me and uh we had a lot of fun and we'll be doing some more of that too so thank you guys for watching like i said make sure you guys give a like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time later